time for another unboxing, and this time it's the Big Balls Baboon Box. Ooh. So welcome back to my channel, I'm Rat No Dan, and in today's video we're going to be opening this box from the Spider Shop. They sent an email out last Friday and I just couldn't resist buying the Big Ball Baboon box, which includes four African arboreal tarantulas, and I'm just so excited to get this box open. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. So the total contents of this box came up to about £30, so let's see what we've got inside. I mean, I already know what we've got inside, but let's have a look. Again, spider shop packaging, always perfect, always on time, never delayed. If you're in the market to buy your first tranche online, I highly recommend the spider shop. So, let's have a look, shall we? Oof, look at that. Absolutely awesome. I couldn't even tell you what spider that is. <laughs> but that will be going on the new and improved sticker board. So again, if you guys got any stickers you want me to put up here, please let me know and I'll give you the details so you can send them over. So I know that these come with the enclosures. And cork box so I mean already that is a good amount of cork box and water dishes and hides well impressed with that a cocoa fiber disc just enough for these enclosures again <laughs> fantastic and in here we have the tarantulas and what I really like about this box this kit is that all these have come with the scientific name and labels. Fantastic. These will be the first ones that are labeled in my collection, so I think I'm gonna to have to get some more labels made up. So if there's nothing else. Nope. So let's have a look what we've got. So in the first tub, These enclosures are all really nice. So that's one enclosure. The second enclosure, including the court box. So that's four pieces of cork bark for four tarantulas. And four water dishes for the four tarantulas as well. Awesome little water dishes, they are perfect size for spiderlings. They feel really well made as well. I did try and make some of these myself, but it didn't quite come out as nice as these. <laughs> Third enclosure, and this will be the fourth enclosure with the actual tarantulas in. So, first of all, P. Muranus, the OBT, the Stromatopelma calciata, the feather leg baboon. 
apparently a very feisty tarantula. A H. maculata, the Togo Starburst baboon. And last but not certainly not least is the H. Gabuen Gabuen H. Gabuensis. <laughs> H. Gabuensis. I believe that's how you say it. Which is a dwarf uh, baboon tarantula. For thirty pounds, you cannot go wrong with that. Absolutely fantastic. I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for these other deals that the spider shop are known to do. But I mean, look at that. That's all you could ask for from a delivery company online. Absolutely fantastic. I'm well impressed with that. So now let's get over to the tarantulas. So first of all, we're going to go with the P. Muranus. One centimeters. Not sure how big it's going to be, but we'll find out. I have not got a containment containment breach uh, protocol this time, so we're all going to be going in a bit risky. But one centimeter shouldn't be big. No, it's not big at all. So, we'd like to try and get this in without an escape. So... Oh, there he is. On the move already. Speedy little thing. On his way out. <laughs> Wee. Let's get that lid on. Get this out. So I'll tell you what, that was a close call because I did not fancy chasing that around this room. <laughs> Just make out the little guy down there. See the orange butt. So next on the list is the S calciatum. One centimeters again. I don't want to be chasing spiderlings around, so I'm going to take a. I'm going to be taking a few more precautions this time and just getting the tissue out into the tub. So I'm just going to put it in here. Keep half the tub on. Oh dear. What are we doing there? Very small this one is. And he's on the move. So let's Face it the other way. And here he goes. <laughs> you can just see this guy there. And he's on the other side of the core mark. I won't be able to show you this one because I can't see it that well myself. So so next on the list is the Heterothele gabo gabonensis. This is a dwarf species, so I'm expecting this one to be really small. Wow, absolutely tiny. 
So yeah, there's no way I'm putting that in that enclosure for now. So, we're going to keep that one in this enclosure it's in, but it's that small guys, I'm not even convinced that these holes are small enough to contain <laughs> So small guys. And it's a baboon as well, so it's gonna be lightning fast. It's going to be so fast this is. A minuscule. That speck right there. Right there. And that is a tarantula. So in a case like this where obviously the tarantula is very small, I'm going to be putting that a box within a box. As I just don't feel confident that they're gonna be able to hold that. So that's just going to be in there for now. So last but certainly not least is the H. Maculata, the Togo Starburst buffoon. <laughs> Let's see if we can go forth before that and escape. Just see the little fella there. So let's go for a poke and pray. I hate it when they do this. Yeah, you just try to have the tongs. Fight a little fella you are. And he's on that leaf, so let's slowly, carefully remove that. Let's see if we can get a good look. H. Maculata. Four tiny but fearsome tarantulas. And as always, absolutely excellent service from the spider shop. Thanks guys. Also, I'd just like to say that these enclosures look a bit large for these tarantulas, so I'm thinking about moving them down into something a bit smaller. What I normally use for my spiderlings would be these uh, my deli cups. So I'm, I'm thinking about moving them down to this. Because at the same time I've got a, 
Adavis Pantaloris in here who is just molten. He's looking a bit too big for this cup now. So this is this is what I'd like to put the you know, the smaller baboon tarantulas in. But yeah. So if I do do that, I'll be posting all of that onto Instagram and then you can check them out on there. So thank you for watching that video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any comments down below. And as always, I'll see you again next week. Thank you. Goodbye.